think our biggest challenge is reputation management. Um, so developing content that is authentic, um, that people want to read, and that helps kind of push some of the negative content that we've had out on the web. Um, and bring some of that content that we want people to read um, to the forefront. The biggest challenge that we always have, Jennifer, is helping our salesperson get in the front door. You know, consumers, customers of ours have so many choices, so many ways of reaching us, so many ways of getting information that they can stay anonymous most of the time. And so for us to try to help our salesperson have a reason to call somebody, that's our biggest challenge. I think uh, one of the biggest ones for us is doing more with less. Um, less in marketing, less in sales, less in customer service. Um, it, and the, um, the challenge is the competition just keeps increasing and intensifying, whether it be within our industry or from outside our industry through uh, you know, digital channels and what have you. It's very challenging. That's one of the reasons that we've continued to engage Godfrey over, the, uh, over several years here, because Godfrey has been able to help serve as an extension of our marketing department that otherwise we would not have resources to uh, complete these types of projects and, and keep moving the, the company forward. In our organization, I think probably the biggest roadblock is communication um, and being brought in early into the process. Um, so I think a lot of times marketing is brought in a little bit later into the process when it's, oh, we need this brochure or this billboard, when we really should be brought in on more of the strategy side of it so we can help determine what vehicles are best um, to help meet their goals. Everyone's just too busy these days, you know, getting people's noses out of their emails to actually talk to each other and engage with customers and solve problems. From my position, what I see is information overload. It's not that the information is not out there. Uh, the salespeople just don't have time to get it. They are taxed too heavily. Um, they have to put together demand forecasts, generate new business, follow up on old uh, current business. Uh, it's very challenging for the salespeople. Uh, they just don't have enough time. So um, one of the roles that we play is to help synthesize the information and to get the, the right information to the right people when they need it. I'm excited about um, more content marketing. Um, I think that we have a lot of opportunity there to tell our story that we haven't done um, in the past in a lot of different mediums to get that message out. Um, so instead of just you know white papers and, and things like that, you know, just looking at a lot of different mediums like video, I think video is going to be really big this year um, and developing um, those videos and content that people want to read and also being able to um, deploy those on various devices. So making sure that if somebody reads something on a a desktop, they'll be able to see that same content on their smartphone as well. Almost everything I saw today got me excited. I mean, we've started experimenting with content-based marketing ourselves and had really excellent results with it. So uh, I think we're interested in expanding our use of content in social media, integrating the channels a little bit more easily. Uh, I think using the tools that exist, if we can filter out all of the thousands of choices that we have, but using the tools that exist uh, really make it an exciting time for business to business marketers. The thing that excites me the most, I've, I saw it recently at the Direct Marketing Association conference and I've seen it here today as well, is this augmented reality. That's really engaging. I mean, it, it uh, has excited me and it creates this, um, a bridge between the paper medium and digital mediums. So I'm excited to see how I can use that. Uh, and, and to be honest, I can't wait till a magazine comes to my house where I'm able to uh, utilize my cell phone or my iPad and, and look at a product in 3D using this technology. So I'm excited about that.